Hello, this is Gio, and I have a receptacle, a, a outlet plug right here that doesn't quite work right. Uh, one of them, the one on the left, kind of works. Here, let me get a little tester for you. Here's a tester. So I plug that in, and it shines, and it seems to work fine. But this one, you can tell it's a little crack there. That's probably part, part of the reason. You plug it in, it lights up, but you kind of push down lightly, and the power goes off. So things aren't connecting right and a lot of times we plug things in and they just don't uh, run. So I'm going to open this up and see if I can fix it, see what the problem is and I'll show you how to do it. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the power. Unfortunately it's one of the main breakers. It's this one so everything's going to go black. I'll have to bring in some portable lights but hopefully you'll be able to see. So I'm going to turn this off. We're in darkness. Let's go up and test our receptacle. Okay, I got a portable light here. Hopefully it'll be adequate to show you. Let's see, let's just do the test again. Indeed, it is off. The power is off. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take this plate off with a flat, flathead screwdriver. Okay, so we just take our flathead here and just take right the plate off. If the plate's a little painted in, you might have to pop it off a little bit. Just like that. And there she goes. Next, you're either going to take a flathead or Phillips, in this case we're still working on the flathead, to take these two screws out on either side of the receptacle plug. Just like that. And then just pull it out. Okay, now that we got the screws off, we can take a better look at what's going on here. Now, this is actually just some old wiring. And again, you could just inspect this little crack here. And that's probably the problem. And, and you know, I, I entitled this video, How to Fix a Receptacle. But I'm not actually, I never really intended to fix this. I just wanted to replace this. Uh, because of the damage with a new receptacle. Now, where the heck did I put that thing? I have to find Here it is. Here's the new receptacle plug. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these and take this out. Now it has one wire on one side, another on the other side. And I don't really see a ground here, so I'm not quite sure how it was grounded. It actually tested out like it was grounded. Maybe, uh, Maybe the box, the metal box itself is grounded and that's how it got grounded. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take these off just with a flathead and take the wires out. Again, I do have the power off. Let's see how easy this will be to take out here. There's one. Flip it over. You know, now that I think about it, I, I just realized that when I actually plugged this in to test the electrical power, it actually only gave me the middle light, and that means an open ground. So that makes sense because it's just uh, two lines coming in, there's no ground, and so this is an ungrounded receptacle. I was kind of falling asleep there for a second. And so the original plug was not appropriate because it did have this grounding port and it was not grounded. So I'm going to replace it. Instead of replacing it with this new receptacle with a grounding, I'm going to replace it with a receptacle without a grounding uh, plug. This will tell anybody who uses this in the future that this is an ungrounded receptacle and so only certain types of plugs can be plugged in and if they want to plug something in with a grounding plug they would have to use an adapter and in that process they'll have to know that there's some danger of uh, grounding issues with whatever they're plugging in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in with an ungrounded receptacle so we'll go ahead and wire this one up right here. Turn around. Replace 
this one. Again, the power is still off. And there's that. Now you might want to no notice right in here, you notice that this little cap, if you could see it, that's a little splice cap. And so since this is old wiring, somebody in the past just added a little splice here since uh, it wasn't long enough to actually re reach a receptacle. This in itself isn't that safe, and I, uh, if I had a lot more time, I'd fish a new wire down, but I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. But right now, I went ahead and connected both of these. And one last thing that I like to do that not everybody does, I just find, I just get a little bit of a, um, electrical tape here. And what I like to do is, get a piece of this. I like to just wrap the uh, connection points with some electrical tape. Now this helps uh, prevent um, shorts just in case some of the wires around it contact so you won't get a short so this kind of just helps protect those little contact points and this is easily removed the next time you need to do work and so I'm just gonna take the screws so I'll just put these back make sure that the wire is well well secured inside the box itself and just screw these back in Okay, so with power back on, um, since I since it is an ungrounded receptacle, I can't use my old tester, so I just have a just a more simpler tester. The light goes on if the power is on. <coughs> and here, let's see if I can get a better view of this. So it is on there. And it is on there. It's kind of hard to see with one hand. But it does work now, and you know, I've had people dispute the need of installing these uh, ungrounded receptacles when you don't actually have ground. Uh, actually, I've had people yell at me saying, now I can't plug in my, my uh, devices, which have ground, but I think this is the safest way to go, because if you do plug in a grounded um, uh, appliance or what have you, uh, it could cause... Um, a lot of problems and so you really need to advertise the fact that it is an ungrounded receptacle and this is what these two prong uh, receptacles do and so instead of replacing it with something that people may think it's grounded this will advertise the fact that indeed you may not want to plug in a grounded or a piece of equipment that requires a ground because this will not give it to you so there you have it I hope this helps you out I'll see you next time